by Brent Roll Orders. A lot of rain in the Mississippi Valley, is that A what you're lot saying? of rain, a lot of heavy thunderstorms where it might dump two inches in less than an hour. A lot of places all the way from Texas and Oklahoma up to around Chicago area. And therefore, our comments about a lot of real estate uh, moving down the rivers or the muddy Mississippi, well, it's going to be true tonight uh, with, as all that rain continues and moves a little further to the southeast, southeast and may eventually uh, bring us a few showers on Wednesday. But simply don't hold your breath. Today in Atlanta was a fairly nice day. We will call it an average day. I said earlier today was two degrees above it. It turned out it was exactly average. Yesterday was two degrees above normal. Today was exactly average. 88 was the high. 65 was the low. No rain the last 24 hours. We're running well behind now for the year and also for the month. Records for this date, 101 degrees, which occurred in 1936. 57 was the all-time low, and that was 1974. At 11 o'clock now, it looks like the old Hartsfield effect is starting to hold true because we're not cooling as much at the airport as uh, nearby. 80 degrees still at Hartsfield, fair skies and southerly winds at four miles an hour. Our relative humidity, 38%, barometric pressure 30 and 1900 inches, and it's holding steady. Let's take a look now at seeing where some of those thunderstorms are, and they're occurring mainly in the middle section of the country, as we said, from about the Chicago area southwestward going across Missouri and into Kansas and Oklahoma and down into western Texas and New Mexico. Some areas have had, uh, as we said, two to four inches of rain, especially in the areas of Oklahoma, and generally uh, perhaps two or three inches in the vicinity from Missouri up to Chicago and even a little bit northeastward. And there have been about two or three small tornadoes in some of those heavier storms, but fortunately uh, no major damage or injuries in there. In the southeast, you can see that we're fairly clear, just about entirely clear, except for one thunderstorm occurring across portions of north central uh, Mississippi uh, just a little while ago. Here's a look now at some of the heavier uh, we looked at the top of the storms. Let's look at the bottom of the storms now. So we look from our color radar network in St. Louis, Missouri, and we show an, a line of heavy storms. And imagine now that that continues to the northeast and also continues down to the southwest. It's an area more than 1,000 miles long of uh, quite significant thunderstorm activity. It's all moving gra uh, gradually down to the southeast. So it's going to be in our vicinity in two days, but uh, you know how these things have been going. I'm not too optimistic about our chances for showers. Here's a look now at our national weather map from this evening. We've got that frontal system now in the midsection of the country, uh, showers and thunderstorms in a almost solid, but not quite, a broken band all along the front. Temperatures behind our front cooling down into the 70s today. A few 90s showing up out west, and then uh, Palm Springs, uh, the resort place, uh, people go there, but it was 114 degrees, uh, if you can imagine going for that kind of heat. Then in the south today, uh, it was uh, warm, but not as sticky as it has been, and certainly not as hot as it was last week, even though, except for air right up along the front, which was quite warm, and even in New England, temperatures climbing up to around 80 degrees. Let's take a look at what uh, temperatures are going to do tomorrow, and uh, they're not going to do a lot. They're going to warm up a little bit in the south, say fairly mild in the north and east, uh, 70s and 80s. Out in the west, they'll climb to 100, 110 degrees. Here's a look at uh, Georgia now. At 10 o'clock tonight, our temperature is cooling down most areas into the middle or upper 70s. Augusta already down to 66 degrees, but here at Atlanta, we're the uh, sore thumb, the hot spot at 80. Here's my forecast now for Atlanta and vicinity. We're looking for a fair and mild night. The suburbs, you should cool down to 64 degrees. The airport will stay warm, 68, maybe even a tad warmer, but the mountains will cool even more down to 55 tomorrow. Look for a mostly sunny and warm day. We'll climb 2 degrees over today to 90. Sunrise tomorrow at 6.30, going down tomorrow night at 8.52. Then a chance of an afternoon shower Wednesday, but not a big chance. And uh, look for sunny and warm weather returning to us Thursday and Friday. Basically a dry week, and if we don't get it Wednesday, we probably won't get any rain at all. You're just being optimistic by putting it in the forecast, Well, that's you? true, Pam. You know me by now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Ken. The Coalition for Better Television.